What's up everybody, Domo's Music Reviews here and today I am going to discuss my top anticipated albums of 2019. It's been two weeks since I uploaded a video. The last video I uploaded was my Happy New Year video. So without further ado, let's go over the list of my anticipated top albums of 2019. And note that the list is not numbered, so here we go. Uh, the first album I'm looking forward to in 2019 is by Slipknot. The last album they released was Point Five: The Great Chapter, which was released in 2014, and I thought that Point Five: The Great Chapter was a fantastic release. One of my personal favorite Slipknot albums of all time, besides Iowa. Honestly, I thought their third album, Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses, was their weakest album because of Corey Taylor's screams. So I'm looking forward to their new album. I wonder what the production will sound like, even though we heard... A brand new Slipknot song in October 2018 so I thought that All Out Life was a fantastic and heavy Slipknot song so I wonder what the rest of the new Slipknot album will sound like I'm looking forward to it I'm stoked and when we get a single off the brand new album besides All Out Life I will definitely pre-order the album on iTunes and pre-order a physical copy from my local record store. So tune in for a future unboxing of the CD once I get it in my hands, once we know the release date of the new Slipknot album. Honestly, uh, don't quote me on this, but if Slipknot is going in the studio sometime this month or February or whenever, um, honestly, to me, I think the album will be released in, I'd have to say, the fall of 2019. Who knows, I can be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But, if Slipknot releases a new album the same exact time that the next album by one of my favorite bands is released, then I will be excited. I would be stoked to know that two of my favorite bands are releasing an album on the same exact day. That'd be, that would be pretty awesome. And that second artist that I just talked about right now is Korn. Um, if Korn and Slipknot release an album at the same exact time in 2019, that would be fantastic. And 2016 was a fantastic release for Korn. You know, fantastic year because Korn released the serenity of suffering and I thought that that was one of Korn's best releases in their discography besides take a look in the mirror uh, their serenity of suffering is one of Korn's darkest albums my personal opinion in 2016 was the year that Korn came back and released a fantastic release and I'm not here saying that that their 2013 release the paradigm shift was awful the album was amazing too but the serenity of suffering blew the paradigm shift out of the water so i'm looking forward to a brand new corn album when it, once it comes out in 2019 so if slipknot and corn release an album at the same exact time hopefully in the fall of this year that would be amazing so um the third release, the third anticipated album of 2019 is by Kendrick Lamar. And Kendrick Lamar, he's one of my personal favorite rappers of the 2010s. The first time I got exposed to Kendrick Lamar was in 2012. One of my friends um, put a song in Dropbox and the song was Swimming Pools. And that was the first song that got me into Kendrick Lamar's music and 
I listen to Good Kid Mad City, To Pimp a Butterfly, and his 2017 release, Damn, and I thought that all three of those releases were amazing hip-hop albums. So I wonder what the next Kendrick Lamar album will sound like. Um, since Kendrick's last two albums had uh, two-year album cycles in between each release, um, actually, yeah, um, one of them had a two-year album cycle release, so To Pimp a Butterfly came out in 2015, and then two years later, he released them, so if that's the case, um, I think that Kendrick will release an album this year. If you release um, those two albums two years apart from each other. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm very stoked to hear a new Kendrick album. And in the meantime, I'll listen to his music until we get a new release by him. So uh, The fourth anticipated album of 2019 is by Sleeping With Sirens. I discovered this band in 2011 at a friend's graduation party. Um, my friend and I, we were hanging out in his brother's car and my friend put on some music and he put on Stand Up and Scream by Asking Alexandria and Not the American Average was the first song that got me into Asking Alexandria, and at the same time, uh, my friend showed me Sleeping With Sirens, and I discovered um, one of the songs off of their first album, 2010's With Ears To See and Eyes To Hear, and then I heard a few songs from their 2011 release, Let's Cheers To This, and honestly, according to an article I read last year, um, Sleep and Sirens, they're going back to their old sound. It sounds like, um, it sounds to me like they want to go back to the let's cheer, to, let's cheers to this vibe. Sorry guys, I'm getting tongue tied, but let's cheers to this is one of my personal favorite Sleep and Sirens albums of all time. So I'm looking forward to the new album when it drops later this year. So hopefully it's heavier than their previous album, Gossip, which was a fantastic album. So hopefully um, they add some screams to their new album. That would be amazing. Um, the next anticipated album of 2019 is by Issues. Um, I'm looking forward to the new album when it comes out. Um, this year will be three years since they released their previous album that came out in 2016, Headspace. That was one of my personal favorite albums by Issues, and this will be their third album in their discography. And uh, Coma was one of my personal favorite songs from Headspace. So I wonder what the new Issues album will sound like when it comes out later in, hopefully, 2019. So um, The next release I'm looking forward to is Whitechapel. Um, I'm looking forward to The Valley when it comes out on March 29th. I reviewed Black Bear, so stick around for a review of the new song, that dropped last night. Um, it is very slow and it reminds me of Tool and Opeth combined. It's very slow so um, the song is called Third Depth and when I first heard you know the title of the song I thought it was going to be a fast Whitechapel song but stick around for a track review for that pretty soon. Um, another release I'm looking forward to this year 
is by Megadeth. Megadeth, they never disappoint. Uh, Dystopia came out in 2016 and it featured Lamb of Gods, um, Chris Adler and drums. Because, uh, as we know, Sean Drover left Megadeth as well as the other member of Megadeth as well. So, um, Kiko Larreo is, is a Megadeth, and if I mispronounce his name, I apologize. But Kiko's guitar playing is amazing, as well as Dave Mustaine's guitar playing. So, um, this will be Megadeth's first release to feature uh, the drummer from Soilwork, Dirk Verbian. Um, and it's supposed to feature blast beats as well, so I wonder what the new Megadeth album will sound like. Um, and Dave Mustaine said that this album is it's supposed to sound heavier than Dystopia, so we'll see what the new Megadeth album will sound like. Um, another release, anticipated album of 2019 I'm looking forward to is by Opeth. And Opeth, um, they're one of my favorite bands, um, progressive metal bands, and a lot of people have been upset with Opeth for the past about, I'd have to say close to 10 years now, probably 8 years, since 2011 was the first um, album, you know, it was the year that Opeth released their first album to feature only clean vocals, which was Heritage, and Heritage... Pale Communion and Sorceress are the three Opeth releases to feature no growls. And uh, according to an article I read, uh, Michael Ackerfold said that the new album is supposed to feature, you know, it's supposed to be energetic. I don't know what it's going to feature, but hopefully they go back to their old school sound that features Michael's death metal growls and I heard one of Opeth's live releases that was released in November 2018 and I thought that Michael Ackerfeld's growls were amazing so I wonder what the next Opeth album will bring to the table when it comes to being energetic and heavy so we will see. And I thought that Heritage, Pale Communion, and Sorceress were fantastic Opeth releases, even though they featured clean vocals. So we'll see what happens. Um, another release I'm looking forward to this year is by War of Ages. Uh, they're in the studio right now, currently, and finishing up, um, you know, the, the vocals. Um, they're recording at Six, Six Tone Studios. Sorry guys, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. I thought that Alpha was a fantastic 2017 release, so let's see what War of Ages brings to the table. And I heard actually, I heard one of their studio updates earlier today, and let me tell you guys, the guitar tone sounds different, and the tuning sounds a little different. So to me, it sounds like they're adding a little bit of drop G sharp tunings in their music for this new album. I just heard a a clip of vocals and guitars as they were recording in the studio. So who knows uh, War of Ages will have a different guitar tuning on this new album since the past few albums they released are in drop B tuning and so hopefully they stick with the drop G sharp tuning which is if you guys don't know, it's a guitar tuning that is used on b albums by bands such as After the Burial and Architects and Attila. Which brings me to the next release, Attila. Um, they will be releasing Villain on February 22nd, so stick around for a track review of one of their upcoming tracks. And uh, they're sticking with the independent um, label. I guess they're not signed, so 
they're releasing this on their own. So. so the only way you can pre-order their new album is on their merch website. And the next release I'm looking forward to in 2019. is by Gojira. Um, Gojira, hopefully they'll release something later this year. It's been almost three years. Well, yeah. A little over two and a half years since they released Magma in June of 2016. But I'm looking forward to a new Gojira album and I thought that Magna was a fantastic album of 2016. And, yeah, guys, that's the end of my anticipated albums of 2019. I really can't think of anything else. This year I covered Slipknot, Megadeth, Opeth, Corn, Issues, War of Ages, and other artists I talked about in this video, so... Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below and let me know what are your anticipated albums of 2019. Looking forward to hearing what you guys got on your list of albums that you're looking forward to this year. And like I said, one of the biggest albums I'm looking forward to this year is Slipknot's brand new album, which was the first album I discussed in this video. And hopefully it's Iowa heavy like Slipknot said. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, as well as Korn's new album. And, uh, one of the honorable mentions is Deftones, as well. Um, I'm looking forward to their new album, too. It comes out, it's supposed to come out this year, 2019, uh, follow-up to Gore that came out in 2016, and the album was pretty cool. So, yeah, that's my top anticipated albums of 2019 and let me know what you guys think of this video did, did you guys enjoy my list of anticipated albums and let me know what you guys are looking forward to this year in 2019 as your favorite bands are concerned when it comes to releasing new albums this year so just let me know what are you guys looking forward to are you guys excited for a Slipknot are you excited for the new Kendrick Lamar album? Or are you guys even excited for a new album by Korn or War of Ages? So And I'm also looking to I'm looking forward to Demon Hunters two albums War and Peace when they come out on March first via Solid State Records. So I'm looking forward to that too. So, catch you guys later, guys. Catch you guys later. Sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm tired today. So, getting tongue-tied all over the place. But, uh, catch you guys later. And, uh, stick around for a track review for Whitechapel song, Third Depth. Which I'll be discussing. Have a good day, guys, and take it easy.